Being able to read music quickly and accurately is an important skill for any musician. It allows you to learn solo pieces much faster so you can progress quicker, but it also allows you to work with other musicians because you can jump right into the music even if you haven't seen it before. I'm going to be using the guitar in this video, but the principles of sight reading apply to any instrument. Firstly, let's talk about what we mean by sight reading. Sight reading doesn't mean how quickly can we learn and play all of the notes perfectly. Sight reading is better thought of as how can we give a good impression of the music, even if we haven't seen it before. This leads us on to the first principle of sight reading, don't stop, keep going. The pulse and the beat of the music is probably the most important thing to the listener. Let me give you two examples. The first will be where I stop and make sure every note is correct, but there isn't really any pulse. The second is where I'm really thinking about this constant steady beat, but if I do make some mistakes, I just carry on. As you can tell, the listener gets a much better understanding from the second example than they do from the first example. Secondly, we want to pick a speed that is both appropriate for the music, but also that we can control. If we play through something too quickly, our, our brain won't be able to keep up with what we're doing, and our fingers will just be kind of working by themselves. This isn't good because we're not actually thinking then about what we're playing. I guess this isn't so bad if you're sight reading for an exam, but most of the time, we're actually going to be looking at the music again. We might be learning something for a concert or some kind of band rehearsal. So it's really important that we use any opportunity of reading to actually try and absorb and understand some of the music. By working at this comfortable speed, we can both communicate the music, but also try and understand and learn some of the music at this first time of playing. Again, here's two examples. The first is at a very fast tempo where I'm just trying to get everything across as quickly as possible. The second is where I slow things down a little bit, still try and communicate the music, but you can see I have a much better understanding of what I'm playing. As well as the actual sight reading itself, there might be a bit of time before you need to play, especially if you're watching this and thinking of one of your grade exams. You'll have maybe 20 or 30 seconds where you can look through the music and try and get a small grasp of what's happening before you need to play. My advice would not be just to have a run through and try and play it straight away, but to actually try and look at some of the wider musical ideas that might help you when it comes to play. So instead, we could look at the time signature. This will give us an idea of the beat and the pulse. We could look at the key signature. This will not only tell us what sharps or flats there's likely to be, but also if there's any chords or any cadences that we're likely to come across as well. Next, I think it's a good idea just to look ahead and see if there's any rhythms or any particular notes that might be troublesome when we get to them. If there are, try and work them out or try and come up with a plan that might be useful when it comes time to play those notes. But if you can't, don't worry, don't play around trying to get the notes absolutely perfectly. Instead, just think of this steady pulse and keep going, even if you make a mistake. If you do have any more time, then maybe you can have a quick playthrough and try and fit the notes into this framework that we've already developed. Finally, let's talk about how we can get better at sight reading. All this advice so far has been for the moment itself when it comes time to actually read the music, but how can we actually get better at sight reading over a long period of time? Unfortunately, there's no shortcut for this. We just have to do lots of it, a little bit each day over a long period of time. I think it's best to start out simple, try and keep the music short and manageable, and then build up on the difficulty rather than jumping with something really difficult because it's unlikely that you'll actually be able to play it and it might put you off and you certainly won't be able to do that every day. Like most things in music, it does take a long time to develop this skill, but it is really useful in a number of ways. So if you're preparing for an exam or some other occasion where you might need some sight reading, try and invest some time in developing this skill rather than just trying to piece everything together in the moment.